you've seen this type of um, YouTube layout in the background on the partner side um, and the people who are really savvy with technology um, and but when you look for a tutorial they are all really hard to do and they take extensive amount of time well today I'm going to be showing you how to create professional looking background um, it's really simple and we'll, we'll start right now um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open up GIMP I'm running GIMP 2.0 uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty good software um, it's basically like a free uh, Photoshop um, as you see the layout is very similar um, and so let's just get started alright so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the file tab and create a new picture the, the width needs to be 2000 and the width needs to be 1500 um, so let's go ahead and bring this up to where you can see this here now this is definitely not a good color for a background never use white for the uh, background color um, instead use a darker color so it doesn't set off the tone or use a, a playful color so what we're, we're gonna do we're gonna use a black we're gonna use a nice black and uh, this will be the back image besides the sidebars um, so let's go ahead and go into the sidebar part you need to select the rectangular tool and um, drag from this end to right about here um, this will give you the perfect sides into where you can insert your images I mean your uh, message across on the sides um, but what we want to do to set it apart we want to uh, get a gradient so what we're going to do is we're going to for the second color we, we want black you want it to contrast but for the second color how about we get sort of a lightish but uh, still a little bit dark red right here um, and once you select the gradient tool fix it how you want it to be sized uh, that's about good right there and you want to go over and do it do the same thing to the um, other side now if you want to be safer with this you should go over to here to layers right click on the background and create a new layer and do these on layers uh, that way you can just delete the layer if you mess up on this um, so let me go ahead and add the gradient to this one I think it was about right there so yeah um, so as we have now we have the two sidebars and the black background all we need is the message to get across over here and we should be good so now you want to click you want to get a what is it called a um, a really good font so if you want to uh, get good fonts you might want to go search for them I'll post the video up later and now what I'm going to do I'm going to put Denton uh, in this box so you cannot see it now because I forgot to um, turn on I mean to make the font higher oh so let me get high enough to where you can see it um, you also want this color to contrast with the sidebars um, and that's usually using the whatever color is right there so um, once you do this you want to drag this sort of to the side and because it will not show up unless it is closer to the side yeah right here around right here is a really good size uh, so the next part you want you can add whatever you want to right here you can add a picture of uh, your a Twitter icon and your Twitter name or whatever you want to do uh, but I'm just going to put my logo uh, on here which um, 
which will be easy. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put my logo on. Okay, guys, I put my layer, I mean my um, logo on here, and so I think we're done with this background. So what we're going to do to get these marching ants type of thing off, you're going to go to uh, select, and then you're going to press the none button, and you're going to make sure that's all off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this twice. We're going to save the actual thing as the background template uh, and then we're going to put it as the GIMP file so we can have a backup if you want to edit it later and then now we're going to press save as and we're going to put this as the background to YouTube to YouTube right here okay so once you do that you want to um, go to uh, select file type right here and you want to scroll down until you find um, PNG or JPEG or JPG so we're gonna save it and it says um, you wanna export it and you press export um, Put the quality at 85 as default and it should be saved. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert this on YouTube. Okay guys I'm back and we're at my uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe and what we're going to do is we're going to go to things and colors and we're going to go to show advanced options. We'll delete this one um, and go back to the plain background. Now we want to press choose and we're going to find that picture and it's going to load and here's the picture um, if you want if you have if it doesn't fit and you don't want to put on the repeat background option then what you need to do is you need to go to um, you need to go to uh, modules and um, you need to go to recent activity I mean yeah you want to unclick recent activity that's usually the one that makes it big um, so we're gonna save, save the changes cuz I didn't I don't want to change my background so thank you for watching please subscribe uh, rate and comment please join the um, fly nerds group it's right here and it's pretty simple. So thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.